Life on Mars bombshell statement. An expert has stunning claims that there's absolutely something there. We know that uh, recently the United Arab Emirates has sent their own probe up to Mars, so there's a very large interest having to do with Mars and who will be able to explore and find whatever's on there. Life on Mars appears to have been confirmed by a senior research fellow at UCL who insisted evidence of the surface water on the planet means it once harbored life. Senior research fellow Francisco Diego explained there's evidence of atmospheric pressure around Mars in the past which is needed to preserve water on its surface. He explained that um, he believes that evidence of life on the red planet will be found by the first astronauts who will land there. His comments come as the United Arab Emirates launched its first mission to Mars Monday, this past Monday, well, today that is, as it strives to develop its scientific and technological capabilities, moving away from reliance on oil. It wants to go into science now. Now, speaking to Sky News, Mr. Diego said, absolutely, there's something there. It's, this is one of the reasons to analyze the atmosphere of Mars, because in the past, there is evidence that there was a thick atmosphere producing an atmospheric pressure, which is essential to preserve liquid water on the surface. The surface of Mars has unequivocal evidence that now we know there was liquid water on the surface for a long time period. Therefore, there must have been primitive life there, at least in microfossils, that will be found by the first astronauts. This comes as the first Arab mission to Mars was initially due to launch July 14, but has been delayed twice due to bad weather. Now, the HOPE probe blasted off from Japan's Tanegashima Space Center, UAE time 5.58 a.m. Japanese time Monday, that is today, for a seven-month journey to the Red Planet. And there we'll orbit and send back data about the atmosphere on Mars. There are currently eight active missions exploring Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun. Some orbit the planet and some have landed on the surface. China and the United States each plan to send another one this year. The Emirates Mars mission costs $200 million, according to the Minister for Advanced Sciences, Sarah Amin, Amir. It's uh, aimed just to provide the complete picture of the Martian atmosphere for the first time, studying daily and seasonal changes. The UAE, the United Arab Emirates, first announced plans for the mission in 2014, and they launched a national space program in 2017 to develop local expertise. The population of 9.4 million, most of whom are foreign workers, lacks the scientific and industrial base for the big space-faring nations, and it has an ambition plan, uh, ambitious plan for Mars settlement uh, by 2117, so that's in about 100 years. Haza al-Mansuri became the first Emirati in space last September when he flew to the International Space Station to develop, uh, to develop and build the Hope probe, the Emiratis and Dubai Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center worked with U.S. educational institutions and around an hour after launch, the probe will deploy solar panels powering its communication and other systems and the Space Center in Dubai will then oversee the spacecraft during its 494 million kilometer journey at an average speed of a whopping 121,000 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, NASA Director Administrator Jim Bridenstine said that he is expected, uh, he, is ex he, he still expects support from Russia, Space Corporation, and its Artemis Moon program, despite Moscow's space chief slamming the US led lunar effort. Bridenstine said in an interview with Reuters the relationship between NASA and Roscosmos is solid, and he emphasized that international partners will play a key role in NASA's plan to land humans on the surface of the moon by 2024 and construct a space station orbiting the moon as well. He says, I've got a good relationship with Dmitry Rogozin, so I'm hopeful that there are opportunities for us to continue to collaborate, Bridenstine said. He was referring to the general director of Russia's space uh, cooperation, 
uh, corporation Roscosmos, but Rogozin called the Moon Program in an interview with Kosmoskaya Pravda on Monday a political project and likened it to NATO, the Western military alliance Russia has long shunned. Hmm, that's very interesting. So now they're turning their space cram uh, programs into political projects. That's bad news. Uh, we don't want to carry politics and um, prejudice into space, do we? I don't think so. Anyway, this is by Claire Anderson on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.